Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3GameMan.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at the Tesoro Ascalon Spectrum Gaming Mouse. And this comes with a 6400 DP answer. There are seven programmable buttons. You can do 16.8 million colors as well. It includes software and it's pretty affordable. It comes in this great looking, very informative box and Thankfully, you can actually get a feel for this. This is good if you're picking it up in store. Included with the mouse is an information booklet on their other products, as well as a quick start guide. Once again, it has a 6,400 DPI optical sensor. The polling rate is 1,000 Hertz, and the detection is 200 IPS. As well, the acceleration is 50 Gs. Also, it comes with 512 kilobytes of onboard memory, and that's going to give you lots of macros, up to 35 and five different profiles. Now, of course, the DPI control is adjustable along with the polling rate, lift off distance and shooting speed. And as I previously mentioned, there are seven completely programmable buttons. Plus, it has a nice long braided cable that gets connected into the mouse here and you do not have to worry about it being ripped away as well as a gold plated USB end. Now let's have a closer look at the mouse. The overall styling and build quality is quite good. Note how they have a combination here of shiny bits, but most of it is this matte finish. No real grips on either side per se. They have these areas right here where your fingers fit in. I quite like that. And by the way, I have medium sized hands and the mouse does fit very comfortably in my hand. But if you have small hands, this is probably going to be too big if you have medium to large size hands, this should be a perfect fit. Now I mentioned 16.8 million colors. Well, that's possible on the scroll wheel as well as their logo. And let's go through the buttons. You've got two here, a trigger button, left click, right click buttons, a button at the top, and a scroll wheel, which doubles as a button. And by the way, the scroll wheel does have a rubber on it for a nice grip. At the bottom, you've got four very slippery feet that will glide over any decent mouse surface with ease. And that 6,400 DPI optical sensor. Now let me get up close and personal here with the mouse when it comes to the sound the buttons make, because I know it can be a determining factor. Some mice have buttons that are extremely loud, and for me, that would not work. By the way, this mouse does come with Omron switches and they will last pretty much forever, so here goes. Okay, so let's have a look at the software. As I mentioned before, you can do five different profiles and you can grab them here very easily. As well, you can sync programs like so. You know, if you wanna run, for example, a game or whatever you need to run and have everything sync up, you can do that as well. Now, this is the button assignment area where you can pretty much assign any of these buttons to whatever you like performance area for the DPI settings, scroll speed, polling rate, acceleration, double click speed, snapping angle, and lift off distance. Now this is where it gets interesting, but I'll get back to this. And as well, you can do macros, again, up to 35 macros. And within lighting, you've got two different zones. One is the scroll wheel and two is their logo. And again, you have 16.8 million color choices for either of those and you can do different effects standard breathing loop rainbow and as well purple or you can have them completely off now shopping for a mouse can be very confusing because there are so many of them on the market but what you want is one that has a decent sensor enough buttons in the right places for you and the mouse that fits you comfortably and of course software does help so you can customize it. Your lighting, well, some people can take it or leave it. Most mice these days do, you know, have some kind of a lighting system. And this one has all of that, although I think the build quality could have been a little bit better. Now, if you have medium to large size hands, I think this would be a perfect fit for you. But again, if you have small hands, I wouldn't even consider this mouse. It probably will feel 
too big. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.